What's up, fam? Uh, you already know. Big Torch, Big Boss, Punish Flame. East Bullies up, man. Uh, I'm just here to, like, you know, uh, do some tutorials for you guys to, like, get a reference to, like, the niggas who want to, you know, retouch on their basics, people who want to learn their basics, people for people who forgot their basics, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, like, I'll also be giving tips and some comp tips to, like, help, like, complete your comp. And, uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be a review for basics, you know? Let's have some fun. So we're gonna start with the legs, right? Start with the legs. And then, and then we're gonna move on to body control, and then arms and head. And then after, I'm gonna talk about character, flow, all that stuff. And groove, whatever. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna start with the stance. Stance is feet apart, shoulder width, preferably, and knees bent just a little bit. So you're not completely squatting. But it's important to stay low so that you can have an extra level to, like, you know, go up from. You know? Ugh. Because if you're, like, sorry. Because <laughs> if you're, like, standing up straight, like, it's straight up ugly, man. You can't go up, and it looks like you're, like, you're a stick, you know? So it's important to stay low, knees apart. It helps, you know, keep your balance. You're more solid here, and it's easy to, like, you know, move around and stuff. Because, like, in sports, it's good to, you know, be on your feet, be on your toes, you know? Like, keep on moving. It's the same thing with crump. This is your stance. Every... Like, you know, every jab, arm swing, every stomp that you do, boom, you always come back here. And then, here's a look from it, um, side view, you know? So you're pretty much just sitting, you know? Just sitting. Yeah. Now, we'll move on to stance two. Stance two is for, uh, recovery, and like, you know, you can use it for range as well. You can use it for, like, reach out, or whatever, footwork. Um, Stance two is one leg behind the other, diagonal facing forward. Right? So, body's exposed, boom. So, here, this is for like, if you have too much power, too much momentum, and then you lose balance. So, boom. And then you can come back to stance one. Right? So, you bring it back. The thing about stance one, it doesn't have to always be facing forward towards the audience or towards your opponent. You can play with it with different dimensions, you know? You can be here, you can be here, you can be here. As long as in your, you're in your stance, you'll be fine, you'll be safe. Um, that's another thing. Have solid stances. Make this look clear so it doesn't look like you're unstable slash un, you know, unbalanced, you know what I mean? So, stance one, and then stance two. Stance three is the same thing, but your leg is, uh, you're taking a step forward, and you're low. So most of the weight is in your front leg, and you're low. This is for more animated movements, you know, like body control, boom, boom, be like that. Because it's always good to have, you know, different levels in your crop so you don't look boring. It's always good to travel as well, you know, boom, boom, keep in your stances. We'll touch on that more. Alright, so stance three, right here. Boom. Can you uh, turn to this? Boom, come back to stance one. And then move on to stance two. Boom. Boom. Okay, stance four is more of like for range. You know, to reach out more. Reach out more. So boom. One leg straight, more uh one leg bent. So, you know, for snatching, bring stuff in. You know, stance four. To get to your stances, here comes the footwork. So the basic footwork is just stomping. Boom, you can stomp to each um, balance point. Boom, 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 boom. Bring it back, boom. Good? All right. Now, more on footwork, we have the switches. Boom. 
it's just basically, you know, turn your toes inward, put, turn your feet inward, boom. And just bring your knees with it, boom. Again, boom. One more time, boom. Just switch it, switch. You can use this to control a body part, you know, you can go like, boom, 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 boom. Or you can use it to change your focus point, boom, 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 boom. Or you can use it for levels. I like to use it for levels. Um, like, how do you do it? Uh, I like to wobble with it. I like to wobble. So I go like one, two, boom, come back up. Or, yeah. That's what I like to do with it. And another uh, version of that is uh, called the kickback, which involves uh, stomping as well as the as well as the switch so one leg goes in and the other leg goes back so it's like this boom Did it slow for you guys got that boom so you kick back boom and then end with a stomp or just end like you know go with the flow you know so that's the kickback and the switch yeah so and now I'm going to touch on the heel flicks. It's pretty much just flick your heels outward. Boom. Simple. Boom. Right? I like to use it for like, you know, quick hits. You know. Or like, to help with my groove sometimes. Or if I'm doing a whip. Boom. You know? Something like that. Um, and another thing, try to use these uh, different footworks in your different balance points to um, so you know what to do in that position, okay? And then now, more with the heel flicks, it's called, uh, uh, I call it kick it, kicking out. So it involves, you guessed it, heel flick and kicking. So it's like this, boom. So you flick, flick this out, and while it's going out, kick this leg out. Boom. So you go like boom. Like hit that like hit like the hit the, uh hit that twice. Boom boom. Like that would be sick, right? I like to use these footworks when I'm using my arm placements. Keep that in mind, right? Because it's important it, it, it's blah, blah, blah. It's important to uh isolate. Right? Break down your movements when you're labbing. Right, more on footwork, the turns. So turning is you're on your toe and you're on your heel and you're turning one direction, like either left or right. So, boom, all right? Cause it's fun, it, it'll be sick too, like, you know, it's for changing your focus point. Because if people see like the back of your head for a moment and then you see if it's like, oh, boom, you bring it back. So I can go like, you know, boom and then bring it back, like bring a weapon or something. That's a concept right there. Uh, so it's just simply just turning. Boom. Do it. Now try all those different footworks in your different balance points. Right? You can stomp to it, you can turn into your balance point. Whatever. Just freestyle with it. Experiment. Lab. Small hops. Right? Small hops are just pretty much, you know, tiptoes. That was a small hop, like boom, boom. Like, I like to use this when I'm, you know, like I catch a certain beat and I just pull on it, like I just do a drag. So I like to catch, boom, small hop, small hop, small hop, boom, slam. Or I like to small hop, small hop, small hop, boom, arm swing. Or I like to boom, 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 just that. It's just something really sick, like it just goes like, it's like I'm just dragging. Uh, dragging, you learn more about that in arms. Sweet. Right. Now, so that's it for footwork. Um, what drills can you do? Go, uh, just pretty much experiment going to your different balance points and um, ex uh, practice the different footworks in those different balance points. Right? And try not to um, stay in one stance, 